Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, please click subscribe. Hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Today was a huge day if you're a Devils fan. And if you're a fan of the Islanders, if you're a fan of the Lightning, stay tuned because you're going to want to watch this one. You know, the Devils made two big trades today. You know, I've seen big trades happen in a day, but I've never seen two big trades happen like this on a game day on the same day. So... It was shocking to me. I kind of I kind of had a feeling Green would get moved this year if the return was good. But Blake Coleman honestly took me by surprise because I love Blake Coleman. I really do. I really wanted him and Palmieri to be on this team going forward. But I also said if the return knocked your socks off, you had to take it. So um, I think the return today was really good for these for these two uh, trades. You know, the first one that happened today was Andy, Andy Green got traded to the New York Islanders for a 2021 second round pick. And defenseman David Quenville. Quenville is a 21-year-old defenseman, 5'9", 190 pounds, shoots right. He was a 2016 seventh-round pick. And this year he played in the AHL and the ECHL. And in the AHL he put up, uh, played in 18 games, had a goal and five assists for six points. So I'm not too familiar with David Quenville. I was trying to read up on him, uh, looking at um, the Islanders' prospects, probably top 10, top 20. Wasn't on any of those two lists, so he's further on the depth chart for this team. And, um, you know, I haven't seen him play, so I'm not familiar with him. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. But Islanders, you're getting an awesome player in Andy Green. You're getting a great guy. You're getting a great locker room guy. You know, he plays, he logs a lot of heavy minutes. He's amongst the league leaders in shot blocking. Um, he doesn't chip in that much offensively, but he does at key moments in a game. He's a great guy on a team, a great guy in a locker room. So, um, you know, Greener, you will be missed. I've been watching you since you first came into this league. And, um, you know, I loved watching you play. I really did. But, um, you know, it sucks how it goes when someone's been on your team for so long and they don't win. You know, I always wanted to see Green and Zajac win the Stanley Cup. But, you know, those those dreams are, are fading very fast. So, um, you know, I just want to wish you well. I think this is a great trade for the Islanders. Adds a lot of depth on their blue line. It adds someone that will play good defense, will shot block, will log heavy minutes. And I think you guys will love him as much as Devils fans did and, and Devils players. So, um, Greener, you will be missed. Best of luck on the island. And the next trade that was done was Blake Coleman got traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning for left wing Nolan Foote. And if that name sounds familiar, he was the son of Adam Foote, who played a lot in um, Colorado most notably. Tough, rugged defenseman. And um, you didn't want to go one-on-one -on -one with him because he, he would knock your ass off. <laughs> and um, he got traded for, like I said, Nolan Foote and a 2020 first-round pick. And it's Vancouver's 2020 first-round pick. And if the Canucks don't miss the playoffs, it goes back to the 2021 draft where we get the first-round pick there. Because there was a stipulation in the JT Miller trade at the time. So, um, you know, Blake Coleman today was held out for precautionary reasons. A lot of people thought maybe his wife was close to giving birth. But, um, you know, then Rene Laveau started releasing tweets saying that it looks like he's going to Colorado. So all the fans were like, holy crap, you know. Whenever they mention Colorado, you start automatically assuming they're top prospects. And, um, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. Then all of a sudden you watch the game and you see with a with the Tampa Bay logo behind him. And, um, you know, let's just go over Nolan Foote for a second. I was looking over his his bio, and they said he has a high hockey IQ like his dad. Uh, powerful on the puck. Good score. He's a bull along the wall, and when he's going straight to the net. So, again, with him, and his stats are, he played in the Colonial Rockets in the WHL. Uh, 26 games played. He had 15 goals, 18 assists, 33 points. And the previous year, he played in 66 games and put up 63 points. So... He is a good point producer. He's a tough physical guy. He is, um, I have his thing here. He's 19, so he's very young. He's a 6'4", 201 pound guy, and he shoots left. So he's a he's a big boy, and that's what we need. We need big bodies in here that, that play physical and can score. So that's very hard to find this league, those power forwards. And I think we've got a gem in this one, because I heard his name a lot the last couple of years. Very highly touted. This was a good trade. It sucks immensely to see Coleman go because, like I said previously, I love Coleman. And him and Paul Mary's names have been mentioned a lot the last couple weeks in trade rumors. And these are two players I don't, I didn't think would get traded. But now seeing this, I, I could assume everybody's going to go. So um, also news was that they didn't, the Devils have not had talks with Sammy Botton's agent. 
Um, possibly when he gets better, he may be traded. Um, he's a UFA at year's end. So, um, and he's got 4.875 on this cap. So his next contract is going to be a lot higher. So will the Devils want to offer him a new contract or will they look to trade him? My guess now is they're looking to trade him. And they basically asked Fitzgerald what his plan is. And he says his plan is to build around Hughes, Heischer, and Blackwood. And then Abby Mishrako said that um, Fitzgerald is open to trading almost anyone. So I'm guessing besides these three, he's open to trading anyone. And um, what he wants to do is to get young players in here that are along the same age range as Hughes and Heischer and Blackwood. He wants to get um, people in here with high talent that are around that age group. And I understand that. I, it's, it's good to have a young team because they're hard to compete with. They may be fast and everything, but you're going to need veterans on this team. You are. So I don't know who he's planning to keep, who he's planning to let go. You know, you have Vontanen, you have Simmons, you have Wood, Paul, excuse me, Paul Mary now, Sajak, and even Gusev. Gusev's what, 27? Is he on the good side of age or is he one of those players that he wants to trade because of his age? I don't know. I guess if any of the return is good for any of these players, they will be traded. I know Zajac has a no trade clause. Um, they've asked him to waive it. He wants to stay in Jersey. But if the right trade comes along and if he can go to like a Colorado, let's say, you know, who Nazem Kadri went down for a good amount of time, that would be a good fit. So maybe they might go back to him and say, listen, you know, we have a situation here where you could possibly win a cup. What do you want to do? Do you want to stay here or do you want to go? So the ball's in his court now. So we'll see what happens with all these players. I don't, I, I just, I don't know who's going to stay anymore. I really don't. I could assume anybody's going to be traded if Coleman was traded. He was getting better and better each year. He's one of those bottom six players that can score 20 plus goals, can play awesome on the penalty kill, five on five. You know, he was just getting better and better and better each year. And I, I loved Coleman. I really did. And I really wanted him to be extended after his, his deal expired yet another year at 1.8, I believe, which is an awesome cap hit for any team to take. But he will be very pricey if he hits that 30 goal range. And I think he will, if not this year, next year. He's very close. So, Pickles, I'll miss you, buddy. I really will. I was pulling for you to stay. I really wanted you to stay. But, you know, unfortunately, management has a plan going forward. And could this have been why Ray Shiro was gone? You know, did he want to hold on to these guys now? And you're getting. You're getting difference of opinions here. You're getting management that's saying they want to win now. They want to win as close as they can. But then they let go of a player who wanted to keep a core around that was pretty good. And, um, you know, it's just... it. I don't get the conflicting uh, answers you're getting, you know. Because I think Shiro didn't want to trade these players. I think he wanted to hold on to him. Where other people are like, you know, let's get younger and get high-talented people in here. So... We're going to have to wait and see what happens, which which way would have been better. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens, Devil fans. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this trade. I think this trade works out to benefit all teams. I really do. I think Tampa Bay is extremely scary now when you see the talented forwards they have. They're good defensemen. They're great goaltending. And then you add Blake Coleman to this team. Man, they're going to be a favorite in the East. So... We'll see what happens. I like the Islanders getting better with getting green. Um, you know, the Devils get better as adding good assets to this team. So I think it's a win for every team involved in this situation. So we'll see what happens. Um, comment below. Let me know. Keep it cordial because I know a lot of fans are pissed off about this. A lot of fans like it because they're looking forward to the future. But, um, you know, this definitely made a thing by saying that... Um, we want to get even younger here, and the plan may take a little longer now because you're, you know, you're getting rid of all these older veterans and you're bringing in younger kids. So you don't know if it's going to set us back a couple more years into another kind of littleish rebuild. So um, hopefully not. We'll see at this point. So uh, I thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy.